We are D and Allie. Come along and join us oh, aboard Journey. Oh, yeah. Seasons change. No promise of tomorrow, but that's okay. Just live in the moment day by day. so fortunate to have a marina spot here in Puerto Adventuras, which is the most protected spot for tropical storms and hurricanes on the eastern coast of the Yucatan Peninsula. We are confident though there will not be a hurricane, but of course by the time anyone watches this video, hurricane season will be over and we will all know for sure. This community is a perfect spot where Journey is safe, when we fly back and forth to the states, and a spot where we can explore the rest of the country from and still have a great tropical setting. Let me start by sharing some information about this great community. Puerto Aventura is a small town on the shores of the Caribbean Sea, which is located 15 kilometers from Playa del Carmen and 80 kilometers from the Cancun International Airport. Puerto Aventura can be divided into two parts. The first part is located far from the sea, where the local population mainly lives. The village has all the infrastructure, schools, kindergartens, a supermarket, private stores, a market, just to name a few. The second part is a private residence on the shores of the Caribbean Sea, which is the most unique and popular place for both recreation and living along the entire coast of the Riviera Mayan. The uniqueness of this place consists in the natural landscape and developed infrastructure. If you look at the map, you'll notice that most of the village has natural water channels and lagoons. Thanks to the craters of Puerto Aventuras, it has made a kind of paradise for life and relaxation. Puerto Aventura has, had several, has several large marinas for boats and yachts, a dolphinarium, golf course, tennis courts, a large number of bars, coffee shops, and restaurants, stores, hotels, private condominiums, and houses. There is a supermarket 250 meters from the exit of the residence where you can buy everything you need. The village of Puerto Aventura is very popular between native residents. Almost 50% of the population are Mexicans. The rest of the residents are citizens of the USA, Canada, Italy, Germany, and other European and Latin American countries. In the early 1980s, a small area of the jungle was cleared and a staff housing unit was built across the highway from Puerto Aventuras, which was a new resort community on the Riviera Mayan. The clearing quickly grew into a small village or poblado with little more than an elementary school, some stores, and a church. By 1995, 2,000 employees and their families were living in the Poblado and they had many needs, among them education. This grew into the birth of Friends of PA, who provide educational needs for adults and children in the Poblado. So much more can be found about this community online as it continues to grow and have many needs. Today, the population is around 23,000, with most living in the Poblado across the highway.
returning from our trip from Ekbalam, we wanted to return the favor to Tony and Annette by taking them out on a trip aboard Journey. It was a beautiful day, but the seas were rolling just a little. We went to a local spot called Erisef Anaya. We were soon surrounded by other chartered boats, but we enjoyed swimming with the fish and rays on the little reef, and Tony and Dee had an encounter with a sea turtle. He was curious and actually bit Tony's snorkel mass. On the way back, we scored a mahi-mahi, or as the locals call this fish, a dorado. Yeah, Ah, uh, that's actually not that big. No, maybe it's just one by I'm seeing the color off that other board. I'm forward a little bit, babe. Forward a little bit. Hey, stop. Right there. Perfect. Got it. That's what we wanted to catch and we got it. We felt it was a joint effort to reel this one in with the winds picking up and the seas working against us. And But even the pelican thought he should be a part of enjoying the bounty and he did. Dee and I took our portion of the Mahi Mahi to Latitudes. It was awesome. Easter morning arrives and Dee and I walk out onto the rocks to watch the sunrise over the water. It was a beautiful Easter morning. We are thankful for all God has given us and allowed us to experience over the last few years. We enjoyed Easter dinner with Tony and Annette and the beautiful view from their condo. One morning we woke to the smoothest seas that we had seen in a while and decided to explore in Shelby. We headed north toward Palm Rule. Reefs are located all along the eastern coast of the Yucatan Peninsula and Palm Rule is only a three mile run for us in Shelby. Palm Rule has a deserted bay called Yon Tin Bay which we found a few charter boats using this day, as well since the waters were calm. The water was so clear and calm we could see the bottom. We checked out several spots that we would return to often. On the way back, Dee caught a small bonita that we gave back to the sea. As we returned to the marina, I spotted a starfish who visits the area around Journey often. The water does have to be still and clear to spot him most times. And our first spotted ray drive by. Almost every day we see a large stingray visit the marina. As the day came to a close, Sea Hag from North Carolina arrived to a spot just in front of us. Fishing was on their mind as the Dorado are running. While sitting on the deck of Journey, we met a man and his family. He asked us about our boat and we let his family take some pictures on board. He later brought his mom back, who made us an authentic kiba, which is a Lebanese dish, and his son and I enjoyed getting to know each other better. Although we had bought the moto about a month ago, she is finally street legal. After Dee made four trips to Playa de Karma, and I went twice, we finally have success in registering the bike and getting a plateau. We named the bike Metallica, and we are now ready for some adventures. To thank Tony and Annette for all their help in all the trips to Playa, we went to the, rest the restaurant at Palmol, a beautiful spot, but of course we forgot to take pictures even of the meal. Well, until we were done. We shared a large grouper. The next smooth morning, we decided to explore south of Puerto Aventuras on Shelby. We weren't sure looking at maps in the reef until we saw a catamaran head in the south end of Hoosh Pa at a spot called Playa Zuri, a deep channel in between the rocks and the reef. We enjoyed snorkeling here and seeing some different underwater views, but not quite as beautiful as Pommel underwater, but very beautiful above.
We end the month of April spotting our first osprey on the sailboat behind us. We're having a blast with so much more to come. We are living in the moment, capturing enjoyment. Oh, we are living in the moment, life full of enjoyment. Oh, 